story in Virginia Beach. Dozens of city workers and teachers coming together to fight for collective bargaining. And that move would allow workers to unionize and start negotiations with city leaders about their working conditions. Casey Baylor joins us live now from Virginia Beach. And Casey, a group rallied this weekend about this. Ashley, many gathered at SeaTac North Park in Virginia Beach, hoping to see what they're calling a changes that are long overdue. Now, last year, the General Assembly voted to allow collective bargaining for the first time, though it must be approved by local government first. It would give all city employees a right to negotiate their pay, benefits, and hours. Now, over the weekend, speakers addressed how some city workers are fighting for their families to stay afloat. We see that four in 10 city workers could not afford to support themselves at a decent standard of living in the city they serve. And if they were trying to support a small family with two children, that number grows to nine in 10. And other Virginia cities like Richmond and Arlington have already passed collective bargaining, though it's unclear right now if Virginia Beach leaders are planning to consider and discuss this matter. We're live in Virginia Beach. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Okay, thank you, Casey.